Hey guys, today I wanted to show you an ecom website I made entirely by Wix code. Now you might notice that some of the page names or labels are a bit awkward, but this is because this website was made for a private company who had their own specific needs and wants. Some of the features of this website contains are a private sign-up login page, a shopping store, a mini cart, a main cart, a very extensive data analysis platform, a client dashboard, and many other stuff. But in this video, I just wanted to show you the functionality of an online multi-currency shopping store. So we'll go ahead and log in to view the link of the shopping portal. We'll go ahead and click on portal. This will take me to the dashboard. The dashboard, I will have the name of the employee over here, the designation of the employee, this, if you are going for a more client-friendly or targeted at your client website, you can have a database and a repeater and you can use it to push new products. For example, you can put new products into a database and it will show up over here. You can change it whenever you want. But today we are just going to focus on the multi-currency shopping store. So you can see that this repeater serves as a shopping store, online store, and some of these items are being marked as sold out by the back office staff. So if they are marked as sold out via a drop down they have, they cannot be booked on the client side. This is one of the features that the company had requested, but let's go ahead and see the multi-currency store. So for example, I select euros. Now the base currency of this store is euros. So if I select euros, the exchange rate it's going to show me is 1. But if I select some other currency, it's going to show me the exchange rate and the list is going to get populated. Let's try it once more. Okay, now we book. We're going to book this. I'm going to write tutorial video. Now I'm going to select the uh, adults and children. Ah, it's too much. I need a discount. Let's see if my discount coupon code is going to work. It does. I got a 10% discount. Add to cart. Yep, I'm sure. Let's see if the service or item has been added. And yes, it has. You can see I booked for four adults and each eight teenagers for Sunday, July 22nd. And it cost me this many Swiss francs. Let's go ahead and add another one. So for five adults. Add to cart. Now let's see if it add. Yep, it did. Now look at the total. It's 407.6. I'll try deleting one from the cart. And let's see if the total gets cat. Yep, it does. So all is good. We'll continue to the main checkout. Now on the checkout page, you might see different elements which might not be there in a more client-friendly uh, shopping portal but as I said this was for a private company so they wanted all these items now I have the electric bike and I I put this comment so we know that uh, this is the one when we go into the sales history database to check I can see that a 10% discount load code has been applied. Let's see if I can get some more discount. This is the overall discount. What I added before was the item discount. You can also have the ability to add an overall discount. Now you can have a payment portal, for example, Stripe or PayPal. So when you click on this, uh, you can capture information such as credit card and stuff and then so you, Stripe can process it before redirecting you to the thank you page or cancellation uh, payment fail page 
or you can have an HTML component a link to PayPal which can process the payment and send you back to the thank you page but my client did not want any of this so I'll just go and check out to have the items services added to the confirmation yep there it goes it has been confirmed now let's go on the sales history which is kind of a sales uh, dashboard for the client to see his purchases and there it is I can see that my item has been added to the cart uh, to the sales history now what happened was that when I clicked on checkout and this item was added to my sales history which means it was confirmed uh, the client immediately got an confirmation email with all the details and the back office staff of the company would get uh, details notifying them of a new booking now if the client goes ahead and cancels this booking this will be removed from their database I mean dashboard and uh, the yep there it goes it has been removed and the company will get a notification along with the client saying that this service has been cancelled so that was it let me know what you guys think about it and if you are interested in having a website with such functionalities please go on dudelemon.com I'll put the link in the description below and you can either log in or you can click on contact us and send me your details so we can get in touch thank you